Hi everyone. So in this video, it is a bit cold as you can see. And also I'm going to check out the Pinecone SG1205. And now they have an official license, which is from CF Moto. And the model is the Z4 Sport R. And we're going to have a look at it. And here it is, but first let's get rid of that plastic wrapper. I know that the plastic is meant for protection, but it was not really necessary. In my head, I think this is the first time that Pineco model ever dropped an RC car with an official license. It's four wheel drive, it has shocks and a, and a servo, and it's fully proportioned. And the license is by CF Moto. And the Z4 seems to be a car that is relatively popular. And we have not the orange one, but the white one. On the side picture, it shows the car with the winch, but that's only the real version. The model doesn't have it. It's supposed to be a 112 scale, and I don't know what that 5x5 five five means. I thought it's a 4x4. Four four. Please let me know in the comments if you know what that means. All right, let's look inside. And oh, look at this, the remote is on the side. Then why not have a look at it first? And I have to apologize, I'm doing the voiceover right now and there is a switch which can actually change the speed from first speed to second speed and third speed. But I only tested the kids mode. I will test the rest of the speeds when I get the upgrade parts, so there will be another video for it. The row mode itself is great. It's great for one-handed steering. You have um, it's fully proportional. You need four AAA batteries. It has steering trim and steering gyro weight where you can adjust the angle of how much you want to steer. It feels really good in my hands. And also it's plastic but it has this carbon fiber look to it which I think it's kind of cool. And oh what do we have underneath? Let's see what's in the bag. So you have the manual, which looks interesting. And also, please, please read it. It's very important. We get attachable body parts as a sort of cover from dust and splashes. A sticker with the CF Moto logo. A Phillips screwdriver. If you don't have one, it's very useful. And a USB charger, which is... I think it's like 1000 milliamp hours. Yep, correct. All right, I think now we can have a look at the car itself. But first, let's bounce. It looks really cool, but I think that the beadlock tires are fake. So in the front we see where the winch is supposed to be and this is where the spare sticker goes if you ever lose it. And we have a compartment box in the back. That's kind of cool. What would you put inside? A little look at the back. It kind of looks like a predator's mask. The suspension looks quite interesting. And as I expected we will get lots of plastic parts. We have plastic diff cups. and plastic CVDs, but they're both upgradable. I already ordered them, so wait for the video. You will see my upgrade video soon and also where I test the other speeds as well. And plastic CVDs aren't bad for the start too. The battery is hidden under the driver's seat. You open the door and then pull out the battery. It's a 2 ace LiPo with a 3-pin connector. I think like 600 milliamp hours, which is kind of powerful. So please, I'm sorry if the car looks very slow in the video. It's because it's only the first speed. 
I mean, it's a 2S LiPo, 600 milliamp hours. It will get you some speed. So, radio on. And the car... Uh, wait a moment. Um, okay, car on, but where? Uh, there's nothing underneath. There's nothing in the back. Do I take the... Ah, see, there is a starter button, and you press it. And then you see my thumb lighting up. So it should be... Yes, it's on. The servo seems alright. This is not the highest steering angle that I adjusted. You can turn even further. Alright, let's try this. Oh yeah, and I forgot to mention, you have turning indicators here and in the back as well. And also, it will show you when you go back. Uh. Alright, turning indicators here. Alright, moving on to the montage. Oh yes, and those SSVs have an interesting design where the front tires and the back tires can be functioning like a bumper. And I have to admit, I know it's lots of plastic, um, but maybe that's a good thing because the plastic flexes and it will get other parts like the oil shocks and we even get um, the metal CVDs which I'm looking forward to and there will be a test coming up. Even in the kids mode, I already had lots of fun. I'm really looking forward to uh, testing the upgrades as well as the other speeds. So if you don't want to miss it, please make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. And don't forget to like the video. Thank you for watching.